And what about transportation? The prevailing means of transportation in our societies is by automobile and aircraft, both of which predominantly need fossil fuels to run. In the case of the automobile, the battery technology needed to power an electric car that can go over 100 miles an hour for over 200 miles on one charge exists and has existed for many years. However, due to battery patents controlled by the oil industry, which limits their availability to maintain market share, coupled with political pressure from the energy industry, the accessibility and affordability of this technology is limited. There is absolutely no reason other than pure corrupt profit interest that every single vehicle in the world cannot be electric and utterly clean, with zero need for gasoline. As far as airplanes, it is time we realize that this means of travel is inefficient, cumbersome, slow, and causes far too much pollution. This is a maglev train. It uses magnets for propulsion. It is fully suspended by a magnetic field and requires less than 2% of the energy used for plane travel. The train has no wheels so nothing can wear out. The current maximum speed of versions of this technology as used in Japan is 361 miles per hour. However, this version of the technology is very dated. An organization called ET3, which has connections with the Venus Project, has established a tube-based maglev that can travel up to 4,000 miles per hour in a motionless, frictionless tube, which can go over land or underwater. Imagine going from LA to New York for an extended lunch break, or from Washington DC to Beijing, China in two hours. This is the future of continental and intercontinental travel, fast, clean, with only a fraction of the energy usage we use today for the same means.